everybody welcome back to my channel so it's been a while since I I guess did a video I've just been so behind and I know there's like no excuse for it absolutely whatsoever but I've been so busy like our house we were going through renovations and so with renovations and working full-time it's just been a crazy week I had to work at two branches this week so I was working at my branch managing and then I was going to another branch managing and it just felt like crazy. I wasn't getting home till, you know, 7 30, 8 o'clock at night. And then just feels like your whole entire house and like the way you have things just like falls apart. I feel so far behind. It's not me. I like my house pretty clean and like organized and I like it is now, but it wasn't. And I wasn't doing like I wasn't handling that well. I feel like maybe I have a bit of OCD. I don't know. Anyways, that's not the point. Before we get create into the video today, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up slash like button. Pretty sure it looks like this. Depends on your screen. Looks like this. Um, it gives my channel a little bit of extra support, which is always needed. And hit that fancy dancy subscribe button at the bottom corner, which I'm pretty sure will be over here. Or maybe over here when you're watching. It. Anyways, it's in the corner too. So today's video is going to be all about our house renovations, house transformation. So we did some renovations. So I did, if any of you watched my new year um, goals, ambitions, 2020 stuff, then you will know that on my list of things was renovating our house and changing up everything. So we got started, mostly what got us on the goal on the way was Bryce's mom, because we were like, okay, we're gonna get started. We're gonna do these renovations in 2020. We had picked out flooring, we had picked out paint, we just like hadn't went and got it. And Bryce's mom kind of just was like, let's go kids, like get your butt in gear. But we were also like, we both work full-time jobs, we both have things going on after work, like getting it done, we just don't have time. And so this is where Bryce's mom comes in. She's amazing. She is retired. And she was like, I'll do the painting, I'll help you with your flooring. And it didn't matter how much we were like, no, like you're not doing this, we don't need you. Like we don't want to make you like do this. Like we don't wanna feel like we were forcing her. But she said she gets bored and she has nothing else to do and so she would love to do it. So when I got the paint, so I got paint for the living room. As you can see in the background, it is a lot different. Like things are a lot different in the house now. I'll do a bigger tour after. Anyway, so went ahead and got paint. That was a $400 touch. Went and got flooring. Our flooring was $1,400. Um, we got new blinds. That was actually a housewarming gift from Bryce's mom. And so we started with that. So I will have pictures coming up here um, of before, during, and after. Uh, just to kind of give you guys like a little feel and then I'll do a tour. So what we did first was we took all our baseboards off and moved everything around. We uh, painted, started with paint, filling in all the holes, sorry. Filling in all the holes, painting the walls. Um, our baseboards were actually like a peach color. Why? I don't know, but it had been driving me nuts since before we moved, like since we moved in, that they were peach because I just, I mean, I'm not like, against anybody having this in their house if it works for you that's great but for me i do not like baseboards being anything other than white i have a really hard time with, with it like unless it goes with the room really well to have it like a black or a gray i get it but it did not work like our walls were white our baseboards were peach i guess for the people who lived here before like that worked great however for us it did not so we uh, painted the walls the gray blue that you see in the background here and I love it and I was kind of at before we paint pick this color I was like I don't want to go like that dark like I thought it was this like sample was super dark so I was like no I don't want to do that but it ended up turning out really good I really like it it looks a lot more like modern chic in here and it feels that way and I'm loving it um so yeah then we got the walls done and our bedroom painted 
our flooring got delivered and so at that time we decided okay it's time to rip up the floors so we ripped up all the carpet so there was carpet in the hallway to the bedrooms and in like the living room dining room area so we ripped up all that carpet and then we had to wait for the flooring it was in a warehouse so we had to wait for the flooring to uh, on thaw and so while we were doing that we decided we'd do a little bit in the bathroom our bathroom <laughs> is very old <laughs> we still have wallpaper in our bathroom not really in like a yellow tub i'm not really sure what people back in the day were thinking i do distinctively remember one of my grandparents places having like blue toilet sink tub like it was a thing anyways so we got the wallpaper off the wall in the bathroom we did a bunch of measurements so what we're gonna do in our bathroom which i will show you guys it is not done yet it is in progress is we're going to put a new tub, new vanity, new flooring, new surround, new paint. It's going to look awesome, but that's a future thing. So yeah, so we did all the flooring. The flooring is done, put our baseboards back um, and moved everything back in. I also did some painting on everything else that was like that peachy color. So a lot of the trim like in the porch area, um, like uh, entranceway, I guess was still peach and I haven't painted in there because I don't know what to do. Anybody has any ideas for like a good color in a porch that has one window? That would be great. Anyways, so we I painted all of the trim back to white so it looks a lot better to me, I think. And yeah, now we have our new living space. Some things I've noticed since getting rid of carpet, like it's a lot more, I guess, echoey in here and it um having dogs however was like it was driving me nuts i'm a little bit of an ocd clean freak and so having carpet was really driving me nuts so it's awesome to get rid of carpet for the reason of having dogs in the house but otherwise like you kind of lose that homey feel but i really do love it like our floor is actually pretty warm all the time I, it's not something i complain about but it just it feels different you know like your house is a lot different than it was before. So there's gonna be after pictures coming up now um, to show you guys what the house looks like now. And so, yeah, that is like the biggest thing that's been going on this week, which has been nuts. I've always said videos are every three to four days, depending, and I have been so shashy at it. And I really don't wanna be that way. I really wanna work on my channel. That was also one of my 2020 goals, is to grow my channel and grow my views. And so I want to work on my channel with you guys. I really appreciate everybody who tunes in and subscribes. It just, it means so much to me. So yeah, um, future renovation plans is the bathroom. Like I said, in the bathroom, we're going to do a new tub. Our tub is not very deep. So like I can have a bath in it, not comfortably. Bryce cannot. Um, our vanity is very old and falling apart. So we want to fix that. So it'll be a new tub, deep tub. We want to do a brand new vanity with like shelves and are not shelves, sorry, like pull out drawers on it. Um, and tile. So we want to tile around the tub, like this around and we want to tile our floor. Uh, and then I want to paint because it's like a maroon blood red in there, which there's no window in there and it's already dark. The lighting in there is terrible. So we're gonna paint it. I have like a nice light green picked out. I think it's gonna look really good with the colors we're going with. So that'll be a next thing to show you guys. And then of course our kitchen will be the biggest thing to show you guys and kind of video on and off throughout what we're doing with our kitchen. But the kitchen's gonna wait because if any of y'all have renovated, you know it is not cheap to renovate. Not at all. So it takes time and I am poor. Anyways, so tour of the house. Beforehand, I will put a before picture up here for you guys of the living room before, living room, dining room before, even though you've seen the before and after pictures, but beforehand and now after. So our kitchen table is still in the same spot it was before. That has not changed. Um, but what has changed is this is in a different spot. I guess it's like a china cabinet thing is in a different spot. What would have been here was just a little shelf. And then the couch was right here, which is where our TV is. And the couch above the couch, we had all the pictures up here, but now it's our TV fireplace thing is here. Um, and you go into the corner, which before was just a little stand was in here. 
Wow, I'm bad at this, sorry guys. A stand was in here with shelves and um, with our photo albums and stuff like that on there. So now we have pictures in the corner. I drew this one and this one Bryce got for a Christmas present. And then it's all my oils. This is my lovely oil workstation stand thing. We still have to hang this lovely piece up. And then this is now where our couches and everything are. So things have changed a little bit. As you can see, also new curtains. I really like them. They have a pretty cool feature actually. You can like make it so, okay, sunny, awesome. And then, okay, dark, but you can also roll them up all the way so they're completely gone. I really, really like them. So I think Bryce's mom did like really good there. So yeah, so this is our living space. We got an extra chair from Bryce's dad. We put our pictures up. I have my succulent. And there's our stand with our photo albums. And I added a few more pictures onto here um, than what I had before. So I have like pictures of Bryce and I on there now and a picture of where my farm that I grew up on and pictures of Bryce and his dad and Bryce and I again. So yeah, it is different. It's like, it's a lot different than it was before, but I'm, I'm loving it. Like I said, it's more chic. It's more up to date and I'm really loving that. So to me, it like, I know to others, it's like, oh, it's like not even that much. It's not even that big of a deal. But to me, it is. To me, it's a huge change. It's almost like a whole different house. But when it's not your house, I do, I mean, I get if nobody understands that. But anyway, so here's the hallway to the bedroom. It's different now than it was before. In one of my last videos, I have a roundabout of the bedroom, but this is the bedroom. Nothing, I mean, how freaking homeless is that? I told you guys, we're poor. No, I'm just kidding. We had really crappy curtains that didn't work at all and kept like falling off. And so we bought blackout blinds and it keeps saying delivered, but it's not here. So we're just patiently waiting for our blinds. So anyways, for now, we got a blanket hanging there because that's how it rolls. So our bedroom color is a lot different. It was a baby, whoa. It was a baby blue before and now it's like a dark, dark, blue which is what Bryce wanted actually if Bryce would have had it his way it would have been black and I was not having that so we have pictures of um our dog so that's my dog Spike he passed away this is Bryce with his dog Ruger who now lives at his dad's farm and that's the hallway to the bathroom and to the dog's room so that's what's new and exciting in the house those are the renovations such far but I seriously love it. It's more of my thing. Going on with the 2020 goals, I am happy to report I've actually been doing really good with my goals. I've been focusing on, you know, um, my YouTube channel. And obviously last week was like focusing on work. And I've been doing good on my workouts. And I will do a whole video that really focuses on what I've been crushing on my goals for 2020 um, and for things I want to happen and where I'm at with that. Another thing that's really been going pretty good is the oil um, circulation that I've been using for this cycle for our TTC journey. I have a video for you guys coming up on that as well. Um, that was one video I did a while back just saying like I found this chart, I found all these oil combinations, made all this roll on blends to try to help with fertility. So I will update you guys on how that went for me. So there's a bunch of videos <laughs> I have coming for you guys and I'm super excited to share it all. So that is all I have for you guys. I know it wasn't like a super woo video, but it was just to show you guys like what we've been up to, our house renovations. I, I mean, it's like nothing drastic, but to me it was. And I hope you all enjoy. Any comments, questions, concerns, as always, leave them down below. You can follow me on Instagram, find me on Snapchat, find me on Facebook, send me an email, any of the things below. Check out my Young Living website. Check out um, Just Strong Active Wear, which are things I love. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button to give my video a little bit of support, which is always needed. And to hit that lovely subscribe button, I would just love it so, so much. So I hope you all have a great night. 